My name is Ailanthi Gabri and I'm director of Ruby Slipper. We're a digital strategy agency in Melbourne, Australia. I was never really meant to work in the real estate industry. I'm the daughter of a family of people who are musicians, they're artists and they're creatives. When I decided out of the blue to become an estate agent, uh, I told my family and the looks on their faces, they were aghast. It was like telling them that I was going off to join the circus, but really if I had said I was going to join the circus, it would have been more acceptable for my friendship group and my family. But you know, I really followed my gut into the industry and I'm so glad that I did because I think that an experience in real estate is actually a really great boot camp for life. I began my career in a boutique agency in East Melbourne and I had a beautiful mentor, a great principal, who really allowed me to uh, express myself in my prospecting. He didn't try and make me conform to some kind of carbon copy agent model. We had one particular vendor that um, the sale had gone south, there had been an auction Subsequent to the auction, nothing had really gone very well and we ended up having a, a boardroom meeting between a husband and a wife where my principal had taken over from me because I was at this stage probably not so capable of dealing with the conversation. Um, and the husband and wife started fighting so badly and they became so aggressive um, that we actually had to end up calling the police. Um, that was really frightening and I'm glad that my principal was there to work with me through that. But what it did teach me was that the next time I saw those characteristics that those clients had, now I stay away from them. And that's relevant to my time in real estate and it's certainly relevant to my time as an independent businesswoman. It also taught me to prioritise safety and to do things that I'm comfortable with. I, during my time as a sales agent and auctioneer, I had an experience where I was at a listing by myself and an irate tenant uh, threatened me with a box cutter. Um, that was really frightening. <laughs> that experience is probably, even though it's an extreme one, I don't think that that is unusual to people working alone in the real estate industry. So it taught me about trusting my gut. Everybody when they work in real estate have, has frightening experiences um, and those are the ones that we should take from and learn um, and amend the things that we're comfortable doing in our own practice at another stage. When looking back on my career in real estate, I sometimes wonder, is there anything that I could have done differently? And I guess, yeah, there are heaps of crappy listings that I probably shouldn't have taken. But looking at my time in real estate overall, I actually think that it was pretty perfect. I was elevated into a very adult world at a very young age. I began at 22. Um, and by having to talk about money, have difficult conversations, and get myself out of tricky situations, I think it it was actually like the ultimate boot camp for life. So even though there were some blips and bumps in the road, overall what I did was just perfect and I'll bet that what you're doing is probably just perfect as well.